Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Indra Art. I'm Gretchen, and we're going to do something fun today. Something I haven't done before. A few weeks ago, I did my first chain pull pour. And you do that with a chain, you can do it with a piece of string. I like a chain pull much better than a string pull. It just gives more interest in the lines. I bought this one last week or bought, you know, I got this one last week. But if you want to do a whole painting with them, it's better you have a lot of them or else you're going to have to clean this one every time you go in the paint and come out. I was thinking what can give almost the same look on your pour? But make it maybe a little easier. Well, I was thinking and I found these. These are big tie wraps. And they have like uh, this zigzaggy line on both sides. So I'm gonna use these to chain pull with. I just practiced twice with this. So it's not that I've mastered this already, but I do wanna show you what comes out of these? A fellow artist that lives next to me, or well, next to me, close by me here in the Netherlands, does these beautiful chain pulls on a black background and only live with like a, yeah, a glitter paint. She does the chain pulls. Well, Fosia van Elk, I'm gonna try your style. I'm gonna use the same paints you use, but instead of the chain, I'm gonna use the tie wrap with this zigzag on the sides. Let's just begin, okay? My tools for today is my torches always. I always have a tweezer lying around. I like a spatula, level to level your work. And today I, I'm actually using the tie wraps instead of the chain. And I got like one whole pack, so I don't have to clean them every time because I'm going to use them all. The base coat is going to be just black. I have that mixed here. And the colors I'm using today to do the chain pull with, oh, the tie wrap pull, let me say that, are actually transparent paints. It's a light blue transparent. It's a silver transparent glitter. This is like a light yellowish color with glitter and the teal with glitter. But because they are mixed with Floetrol, it looks white. But it's gonna dry clear and you're only gonna see the glitters on top of the black. This is the silver glitter. This one is the teal glitter. I have the yellowish glitter. It's like a gold, but it's beautiful, this one, in, in the light. And this is the light blue one, this, this one. So by the time I'm finished, I really don't know what my painting is gonna look like when it's dry. So that's kind of exciting, isn't it? Uh, my canvas is a 30 by 30 centimeter canvas. I have taped off the back as usual. And I'm gonna put down the base coat and just start. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna dip actually almost the whole thing in and use it if you dip leave it come off a little bit because it's flat it's not like a chain I haven't done this before guys now you see why I need a lot of them I'm not 
Dat zullen ze er altijd. You see, these lines are actually pretty cool in there. Leave it drip, because it's a lot of paint. It's not like a chain that it just drops off. This really has to come off. That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Those lines.
that is pretty cool. There is a blob of paint here. I really have to, like here I pulled too hard so I can see the canvas. Don't like that, but okay. I really used all the colors and not in any order, so maybe that's not going to be beautiful. Well, I do know that I love these and I'm happy I tried them out. I actually like the black and white. I know it's not going to stay like that, but I do love the black and white. What have I learned today? That I love working with the tie wraps. I have noticed that I put too much pressure, so you scrape off the whole base coat, so I have to put less pressure. I can see. Um, will I do this again? Definitely. Thanks again. I'm going to mention her name again, Fosia van Elk. She does have a YouTube channel, how she does these. She did big ones, so it's, it's really cool. And also with the glitter paint. Let me know what you think of this one. Let me know what you think of the tie wraps. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So we can see each other again next week. Greetings from the Netherlands.